Hey guys, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check your data usage on your Android phone, both on a Pixel 7a here and on Samsung. And then I'm going to show you how to manage your data on, an, on your Android device so you're not overusing data, spending way more money than you need to on your monthly plan. So I'm on a Pixel 7a device here, and to check your data, you go to your settings. I do that by swiping down from the top, clicking the gear button on the bottom right, and then you're going to network and internet. And then for your data, you click on Sims. I'm using Google Fi, so I have the flexible plan with Google Fi, which I'm not quite sure is the right plan for me. Um, you see on here that I've used 4.7 gigs in my cycle, and I still have time in the cycle. So I think Google Fi offers a bunch of different plans, which I've actually shown right here. Another plan with unlimited data may be better for me, because I always end up overusing the data on the plan. Once it hits a certain cap, Google stops charging you. Limited data would actually probably be more cost efficient for me. On a Samsung device, you go to settings, connections, data usage, and then mobile data usage. It depends on the carrier you're using, but you'll be able to see your data right there and kind of get an understanding if you're way over, under, you know, what kind of data you have available. So there are a lot of options to manage your data on your Android device. On a Pixel 7a, you can toggle on the data saver. This one will limit sending of data from apps that are in the background, so you can actually save data that way just by toggling this on. I think it's probably a good idea. But to give you some more granular control over your data, um, you can go into your Sims again here. I'm on Google Fi, so I'm gonna click on the Google Fi. So if I scroll down, I have a couple options one is I can go into app data usage and I can see which apps are using the most data there. So for me, it's Google Photos, three gigs. That's a ton of data for one app. It's because I take pictures of everything and I leave reviews on Google Maps and I probably have like 50 pictures every day and they're uploading to the cloud. So I should probably set a limit on only uploading over Wi-Fi because I think I do upload over data connection quite a bit. So you can see the apps where you're using a lot of data. That's probably a first place you want to check. Next, you can set warnings and limits on the amount of data you're using. So if I click data warm, warning and limit, um, I can set a data warning. So if I click that on and then I click data warning below that, it can set a warning at however many gigs I want. So I can put um, a number there. Right now it says two. Maybe I'll put five, because that's a lot of data. You know, I typically use about that much every month in there. And then I can also set a data limit here, which I haven't done in the past, because Google credits back the data if it overspends. But for me, I end up spending like more than $100 a month, and I thought I was gonna be spending like 50 a month. So it's getting kind of expensive. Um, so I might wanna set a limit, I would click OK. And then in the data limit, you could go down there and I could set a limit. But you can toggle that on or off or set different warnings. Another way you can control your data usage is to restrict data by app. So how you do that on this Pixel phone is you click on your Sims again in your settings. Click on Google Fi for me, whatever carrier you're using. And then you go down to app data usage, which I showed you earlier. And then you, you see all the apps that use the data. For me, it's Google Photos is the big one. So if you wanna restrict the data for this specific app or any of the apps listed, you click on that. And then you can see that there's background data being sent right now. So you can toggle that off if you don't want background data to be sent when you're not actually using the app. And then you can also toggle on unrestricted data usage if you don't care how much data it uses. So if you have an unlimited plan, you might want to turn that on. And then this is saying, you know, send as much as you want, upload from data wherever I am, even if it's international, whatever. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm trying to save a little bit of data. So that's how you can restrict data usage by app, which is also a great idea. Finally, another way to limit your data and save data is just to turn data off altogether and use Wi-Fi as much as possible. So to do that, you'd go into your settings, click network and internet, click on the internet up top, and then you can see that I have Google Fi, and then I have different internet options. I've got Wi-Fi turned on, toggled on, 
Um, but if you want to toggle, turn off your data, you'd click on the gear right next to that. And then you could just toggle off use SIM. So this would say turn off Google Fi. I could select turn off and just turn it off altogether. But then keep in mind, you'd only be able to use your phone or apps over Wi-Fi unless they're downloaded on your device. You can also set a data warning and limit on your Samsung Galaxy device. And to do this, you go to the mobile data usage menu, go to settings, connections, data usage, and then mobile data usage. And you have various controls you can use there. I hope that this video was helpful for you, and I hope you can control your data appetite and stay within your spending limits. I know it's hard to do. If you're going way over, you might want to get an unlimited data plan. I'm thinking about doing that myself, because as you can see, I use way too much data on Google Photos. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.